Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jennifer Internet. So in today's video, it's a little bit different. I actually want to give you guys a little bit of my thoughts on the YouTube natural hair community. And if you want to see that, stay tuned. Just once again, I am not a licensed cosmetologist. I am not a licensed professional. These are just my own personal views, own personal opinions. So guys, I know I'm a small YouTuber and I know I'm very small, but I still have some thoughts of my own and I usually sit in my bed at night or in my living room and I jot down some notes about what I want to do for my YouTube channel in terms of videos because it's not just about hair. My channel is about skincare and by the way, if my face looks a little greasy on camera, it's literally because I just did my nighttime routine, but it's about clothing it's about a little bit of everything but i actually was a little bit nervous to get into the natural hair care game of it all because the natural hair care community on youtube we have opinions and rightfully so but before i get into those opinions let me just say a little bit about my hair care journey and i'll make this as quick as i can the way that i grew up my mom did the the relaxers in my hair she put the hot comb in my hair she sent me to the beauty salon where you sat on a dryer for hours that's the type of upbringing that i had but my hair flourished when i was younger when my mom did it when I was old enough to do my own hair, and I put that in quotations because I really didn't know what I was doing, some of my hair just wasn't reacting in the way that I had hoped. So I ended up transitioning and that ended up going really, really well for me. But I eventually cut all of my hair off because I wanted to start over from scratch and then it grew out. And then I messed it up a little bit along the way and then here we are. I actually never texturized my hair. I just wanted to put that out there but I did perm my hair when I was younger and then the from the moment that I transitioned I never put a relaxer in my hair after that a lot of my videos on my channel right now are geared toward natural hair care and I'm fine with that because the thing is I like natural hair care and I know that a lot of people just find that simplicity is its best when it comes to natural hair a lot of people think that you just need, you know, just a couple of products, a oil of your choice, water, a good shampoo and a good conditioner, a good moisturizer. That's pretty much what, you know, simplistic natural hair care people really like. But I am a self-proclaimed product junkie and I love experimenting products in my hair. There's nothing wrong with a simplistic lifestyle and there's nothing wrong with you wanting to try different products. I don't see a problem either way. but the reason why on my channel i decided to go to non-commercialized at least at this point non-commercialized black owned hair care brands that i find on etsy is because i wanted to try non-commercialized black brands that you don't find in the store that's what i wanted to do that was my choice i also wanted to focus on trying a product in an initial video and then trying that product for for weeks to say hey this product did this for me one week and let me see what it'll do for the next week i know that i'm a small youtuber and i know that this is a big gamble for my channel to grow because in the interim of while i'm doing those products i made a promise to myself that i'm using those products and those products only for the time that I'm reviewing for those weeks. It's not only because I want to do that, but this is my hair. This is not a test dummy that I can test on. This is my hair. So I figured I would do this anyway in real life. And I actually prefer to look at videos for people that give you the first impressions of a product that they're trying and then they give you an update on it. Even in my videos, I show you guys, this is week one that I'm doing it, week two. And it's not just that day, like throughout those weeks, I'm using those products. It's just, you know, I don't wanna make the video for too long. So I show you little clips and I show you dates of, 
you know, the, the times that I'm using those products. But it's like, you kind of damned if you do and damned if you don't. It's like, the reason why I chose to do these brands that are not commercialized is because I really wanted to showcase these brands that put a lot of work and time and effort into making really, really good products, but get overshined by the bigger corporations. It's nothing wrong with the bigger corporations. Please, please understand that I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that because I I buy, you know, the bigger corporations and there's nothing wrong with supporting them too. I've bought so many big corporation products that I'm not ashamed of. But at the same time, I just felt like on my channel, I want to try products that are black owned and that are not as mass produced as other products are. That's just my personal choice. But if you choose to buy big corporations, that's your choice and that's fine. I'm not a natural hair guru by any definition of the word, not at all. I am just a person that likes to try new products and there's nothing wrong with that. I am on my own natural hair care journey and I am choosing to do it the way that I want to do it and that's that. The reason why I wanted to do videos that showcase me using the product initially and then a four week update is because I wanted to show you guys what that looks like for me and what the journey is for me and some people will say well you shouldn't use all those products and you your hair is not getting used to it that may be well and true, but here's the thing. I like to try new products. I'm pro-choice on everything in life. Bro, I support you. Do you. I am not that person that, that's going to tell you that you need to do something. Oh, did y'all hear that bone pop? I'm getting old. The only time I will tell you that you shouldn't do something if you're about to like physically harm yourself. Now, if you ask me for an opinion, I'm gonna give you my opinion, but if you are okay doing what you do, then do that. Specifically for hair, if you are a person that just likes to put water in your hair with a good oil and twist it up, do you. If you are a person that cannot live without edge control in your hair, then do you. Like there's nothing wrong with doing whatever you want to experiment in your hair. I'm just saying. And maybe y'all think I'm crazy by saying you shouldn't tell people to do that. Why not? <laughs> You gonna watch your favorite YouTuber do whatever they wanna do, so let them do that. The only thing that I do, that I would hope that other people do, is just be honest about what they're doing. It's just the whole natural hair care com community on YouTube is such a, it's just a very opinionated place. I mean, if you, if you are a natural hair care person and you use hair grease there's nothing wrong with that if there was a time in, in our lives where a lot of people said that shampoos were bad for you it's always something if you want to try those things okay but if you like i'm just gonna put this hair grease in my hair and call it a day then do it if it works for you then keep doing it but don't have anybody out here telling you that if you do this, then you're dumb. If you do that, then this will, I mean, what works for one person may not work for you or what may not work for one person, maybe it'll work for you. When I watch YouTubers that do natural hair, I don't take it as gospel. I take it as an opinion and I take it as something that I may or may not want to try. That's why I no longer talk about what type of hair that I have because I actually don't know what type of hair that I have and then when you do that you get flagged from the natural hair care community because you're not really 4c you not really did it I really don't know what the hell I am I know I'm a type 4 somewhere you know when I when I don't moisturize my hair my hair is a type 5 really but when you know when I put some little little spits of water in them curls, then they, they, they take a whole new life of its own. So I really don't know what type of hair that I have. I don't have a relaxer in my hair. That's all I know. I even saw a Facebook group that said it was like for four C's only. and was like, don't even try to join this group if you're not a four C and don't join this group if you don't know what type of hair you have. I'm like, damn, like what? Like, why do I have to know? Like, I don't know. Maybe I want to join this group because I want to find out. Like, I don't know. Like, you already getting shunned before you even get in the damn door. Like, I just don't understand. Hell, even if you wear weave, that's okay. Even if you 
do nothing but protection styles. That's okay. Here's the thing. The only thing that I ask as a person that does hair, whether you are relaxed or natural, is that you can't be lazy with it. Whether you do like to have a simplistic lifestyle in terms of what you put into your hair, or if you are a product junkie, just don't be lazy with your hair. The reason why I started making these videos is to hold myself accountable for making sure that because I want to have myself on this natural renewed hair care journey if i'm gonna film a video and if i'm gonna keep doing this then i need to film the video and i need to keep doing this that's holding myself accountable but yeah i hope everything i said i didn't say a lot of harsh stuff it's just a little bit of stuff that's been on my chest i don't want to say too much because i am a small youtuber let's 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 be real but at the end of the day we all have a choice in what we do to our hair i just i've never felt the need to tell people that you're stupid to do that to your hair or if you're not doing this or if you're doing that i would never do that because your hair is your choice and you should be proud of your hair whatever texture it is however your curls are love them however your kinks are love them nurture them take care of them and just be proud of them because i love that i can put my hair into a little twist i love that i can throw it out i love that i can wave it out there's a lot of stuff that i can do to my hair just because of the texture of whatever it is and that's what i love about natural hair is that it is versatile so if we can be versatile with our hairstyles how come we can't be versatile in the way that we take care of our hair Whatever works for you, keep doing it. I am in no way an expert on natural hair care, the specifics of it, or anything like that. But the one thing I do like question is, I see so many people on YouTube saying, well, my hair texture isn't representative, or I'm seeing this type of curl pattern or this, but this is not that. Well. I bet there's a lot of people on YouTube that have the type of hair that you have. So just watch those channels and give them the viewership so that YouTube can see, oh, people want to see that, so let's promote stuff like this a little bit more. I think I just watched Faye in the City's video. She said something very, very eloquently about that. So watch that video as well. I'm just not going to be a YouTuber that bullies you or makes you feel bad for using a product or not using a product, using a certain technique or not using a certain technique. That's just not my style. Unfortunately, I'm not a YouTuber that goes in depth with it as far as like the science of it all or anything like that. I know how to look it up and Google and I know how to look at some of my other favorite YouTubers to kind of see what they're talking about in terms of the science behind it and all the technical things behind what's actually in your hair products. At the end of the day, it's just hair. And I don't mean that to be in a negative sense. I'm saying that to say it's something that we all have a different part of. We all have different goals for our hair. I hope that none of these YouTubers make you feel bad for just doing what you want to do, experimenting with how you want to experiment. Just do what you want to do, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to my little rant real quick. And if you were, like, this is a teddy bear I've had for all my life, so don't even go there. I love him. Oh, and I do this in every video. The shirt for the day, I actually wasn't planning on filming, so this is why I look the way that I do. Like, this is for real, for real. For real, for real. Late night with Jennifer Antoinette. <laughs> but the shirt for today, it doesn't have words on it, but can you tell who it is? My hometown is Chicago. And if you're from Chicago, you know exactly who this is. Or if you're a fan of football, you know exactly who it is. Comment down below if you know who it is. But thank you so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. If you haven't already subscribed, like, comment down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.